Intelligent Power Scan IPS. IPS is a powerful PC based drivability analyzer. Let's take a closer look at how the built in drivability analyzer can test fuel trim and volumetric efficiency, saving time and ensuring confidence when diagnosing problem vehicles. No codes, no problem. This tool takes care of it. For example, vacuum leaks, faulty mass airflow sensors, and base engine problems can be identified during the test drive before you open the hood. These tests work with every OBD2 compliant vehicle. Once connected to a vehicle, select the Sharpshooter tab. With the engine running, select Fuel Trim, then start test. The button will turn green to indicate the test is running. Safely drive the vehicle through as many throttle angle and engine RPM combinations as you can. Don't worry, you won't have to watch the IPS screen. All the test drive data is being automatically logged for review later once your test drive is over. Once your test drive is complete, select Test Running to stop and save the results. Next, perform the volumetric efficiency test. With the transmission in a low gear, for example second for a manual transmission and two for an automatic transmission, accelerate from a stop, wide open throttle. Just like the fuel trim test, you won't have to watch the IPS screen. All the test drive data is being automatically logged for review later once your test drive is over. Data has been logged and is now ready for review. Working with the data generated during both tests, we'll be able to identify the source of the fault. In our first example, let's take a look how we can quickly identify an engine with a vacuum leak. When reviewing our fuel trim test data, you can see the fuel trim is faulty at a low RPM. Note the way the load cells filled. At idle and light load, the engine control module is adding 24% to the base air equation. As engine load increases, fuel trim is adjusted to normal range, indicated by the green cells. With this data, we can quickly determine when our fuel trim is askew and what might be causing it. To confirm our suspicions, we load our volumetric efficiency VE test data. The yellow trace is our VE test results from our test drive. The red trace is calculated VE for the specific vehicle and engine size we are working on. In this case, the yellow or actual VE lays over the top of the red trace or calculated VE. This indicates the engine is breathing well with no intake or exhaust restrictions, intake duct leaks, or mass airflow sensor calibration problems. Bottom line, the engine is pumping air as it should be. This confirms our earlier suspicion of the vacuum leak, especially with fuel trim skewed only at the low RPM. We can confirm our suspicion using live data stream. Viewing the mass airflow grams per second PID, the mass airflow is reading about 4.9 grams per second at idle with the engine at operating temperature. The engine in our test vehicle is a 5.4 liter. The reading is a little lower than expected for this engine and also indicates a vacuum leak. The built-in engine analyzer and the scan data both have confirmed our suspicions of a vacuum leak. In our next example, the fuel trim test identified a faulty mass airflow sensor. At low load and low RPMs, fuel control looks normal, indicated by the green cells. The test results indicate a problem at partial load. The engine control module is adding fuel about 20% to the base air equation, in some cases over 30%. To confirm our suspicion, we can load our volumetric efficiency VE test data. In this case, the yellow or actual VE data lays below the red trace or calculated VE. This indicates the airflow into the engine is lower than estimated by the test. The engine could have an intake or exhaust restriction or a faulty mass airflow sensor. But let's take it a step further. With the fuel trim and volumetric efficiency tests complete, select the VE TFT tab. Select Load FT VE. This test will compare the fuel trim and volumetric efficiency tests to determine where the problem is. The graph displays the measured VE and total fuel trim. If the drop in VE percentage matches the increase in fuel trim change, 
This means the mass airflow sensor is underreporting the amount of air entering the engine and fuel trim is making the correction for that amount of air. When displayed on the graph, the air weight percentage will match the TFT percentage, indicating the reported air reading is incorrect, pointing us in the direction of a faulty mass airflow sensor. In our next example, a restricted exhaust will be quickly diagnosed using the same built-in analyzers. First, using the fuel trim analyzer, we can see the engine control module is adding about 20% to the base air equation on bank 1. In some load cells, up to almost 40%. Bank 2, however, is displaying the opposite. The engine control module is taking away about 20% from the base air equation on bank 1. In some load cells, it's taking away almost 40%. The fuel trim analyzer shows a problem with bank to bank fuel trim. This could be a problem with mechanical engine timing or simply a restricted exhaust. To find out, let's load the VE test data. The yellow trace is the actual VE results from the test. The red trace is calculated VE for the specific vehicle. In this case, the yellow or actual VE data lays below the red trace or calculated VE. This indicates the airflow into the engine is lower than estimated by the analyzer the red trace. The engine could have an intake or exhaust restriction. Note the turbulence on the yellow trace. This indicates the engine is not breathing well on one side of the engine. This could be caused by a mechanical timing issue or a restricted exhaust. The built-in engine analyzer has led us towards an engine breathing problem. Remember, we still haven't opened the hood and all of the tests have been done during a test drive while the IPS automatically records the data. We can continue by running a catalyst efficiency test to confirm or deny that a problem may be in the exhaust system. The catalyst efficiency test reveals a good catalyst efficiency on bank 1 at 91%. On bank 2, that's another story. Catalyst efficiency is low at about 35%. The catalyst efficiency analyzer has confirmed our earlier suspicion of an exhaust restriction and it looks like it's due to a faulty catalyst. But let's take it a step further. With the fuel trim and volumetric efficiency tests complete, select the VE TFT tab. Select Load FTVE. This test will compare the fuel trim and volumetric efficiency tests to determine where the problem is. The graph displays the measured VE differential and the total fuel trim percentage. VE climbs as engine RPM increases. This is due to the turbulence in the actual VE reading we reviewed earlier. The VE differential climbs as much as 100% in the test. That indicates that the VE is 100% higher than the engine is actually running at. The TFT percent for bank 1 is positive and the TFT percent for bank 2 is negative, indicating the air entering the engine was measured correctly and the engine has a pumping problem, confirming our earlier test results of a restricted exhaust. The catalyst efficiency test identified bank 2 as the problem. We just saw how to quickly and confidently diagnose mass airflow sensors, fuel trim faults, and engine volumetric efficiency faults. These are just a few of the powerful features you get with the IPS Drivability Analyzer.